Welcome to Electron Online. Here what we're going to do in this video and the next video to come is give you a feel of the types of first order differential equations that we're going to be running into because each type requires a different method for solving the differential equation. And that's often the biggest challenge of differential equations to figure out what type am I dealing with here so I can find the right solution for that particular differential equation. And usually then by experience you start seeing, oh, I know what type that is. So here I wanted to give you a feel of the different types of differential equations of the first order. And then of course, since I couldn't get them all on the whiteboard here, there'll be a second video with the next set, all belonging to the same list of first order differential equations that you'll be running into. So the first one is of the type where we have dy dt is equal to a function of t times a function of y. So it's like the y and the, and the t are multiplied together. Now they could be t times y or t squared times y cubed or something like that. And so the way we can solve one, because there's a multiplication here, we can actually solve it by separating the variables. With other words, we can take the, the y variable and move it underneath the dy, and we can take a dt, the dt over here and move it there along with the f of t that it looks like this, and now we can integrate both sides of the equation. An example, a simple example of that would be, of course, something like this, or if you like, we can make this, you know, 2x squared times y, and so you can see that we can then move the x squared underneath, uh, let's say, no, the y underneath here and the dx over there and then integrate both sides. So that would be the approach for a differential equation that looks like that. A second type that you could run into is what we call the linear first order differential equation. We'll tell you a little bit more what that means, but this is the general form of the linear first order equation. We have a dy dx and we have a y in the two terms on the left side of the equation, then the y could be multiplied times some function of x, and that we could then set that equal to some function of x on the right side of the equation. So that's a general form of a linear first order differential equation. An example of that is right here. So we have dy dx, which is y prime minus y equals 2e to the minus x. So some function of x on the right side. Here notice that the function of x on the left side multiplied times y is simply a negative one. There's no x there but that's still what we call a linear first order differential equation. How do we solve that equation? Well, it turns out we solve that by multiplying both sides by what we call an integrating factor. In order to be able to integrate that, we multiply both sides by some function of x that looks kind of like this, e to the integral of some function of x dx. And when we do that, we enable to get the solution of the differential equation. You can look at that and go, wow, what is he talking about? Don't worry, we'll show you plenty of examples of how to do that. A third type that we have is what we call the nonlinear first order differential equation. Here we have dy dx is equal to some function of x and y combined and typically not multiplied together because then it would be this kind of function, it's where they're added together. So here's an example of that. dy dx is equal to the quantity x plus y plus 1 quantity squared. And notice you cannot separate the x and the y var variables this way to move the y variable along with the dy and the x variable along with the dx. You cannot do here what we did over there. So what we can do in a case like this is we can actually use the method of substitution. We let v equal what's inside the parentheses. Then we solve that for y. Take the derivative of y respect to x and now we have a dv dx where the v is of course the substituted variable. And then we rearrange the equation in such a way that it is solvable then. Again, don't worry, we'll show you lots of examples. But here's three very typical type of first order differential equations that you'll be running into and we'll show you how to use each of those techniques on the various types of different type of problems in those categories to show you how to actually solve the differential equations. And at that point, once you start realizing the difference between them, once you start recognizing what type it is and what solution works for that particular differential equation, differential equation solutions are not that hard to get. And that's how we do it.